Online dating has changed the way people meet. Because it's made the so-called love and friendship available to everybody at their fingertips. There is, however, a cost to this ease of use, which is catfishing. The term implies using a fake online identity to get people into a romantic relationship when they're just not ready for that romantic relationship, usually to take advantage of them mentally or financially. But before we dig into that detail, to my new viewers, I'm Kevin Shaw, your friend and a full-time caregiver. So how big is this problem? According to a 2021 poll by BetMinded, a significant increase in romantic fraud has resulted from the increased popularity of online dating and online dating applications in the UK. At least one in five people report having fallen victim to catfishing, my own father and my own brother amongst them. And according to consumer group Witch, Romance fraud cost the UK dating app users more than 73.9 million in the first quarter of 2021. Since the pandemic, online dating frauds have increased by an astounding 40% due to the fact that people are no longer enjoying face-to-face -face communication. Among young adults, that number rises to one in three, and that means that this is costing millions of people across the country, and they're all prone to catfishing. So the impact of catfishing. The victims of catfishing may suffer really terrible outcomes. The emotional toll can be severe, leading to feelings of betrayal, worry, melancholy. And furthermore, as scammers frequently trick their victims into paying money or granting them access to their financial or personal information, catfishing can result in significant financial losses. Catfishing has also been known to cause physical harm or even in severe cases death. So why do cats fish? Catfishing can have a wide range of complicated motivations. Regrettably some people enjoy taking advantage of other people and controlling them. People like to be in charge and feel powerful and this frequently results from an underlying problem in their mental state, maybe low self-worth, a deficiency in empathy, uh, or even sadistic impulses. Another prominent reason for catfishing is significant financial gain, with romance scams being one of the most common, and most of us know somebody that's been scammed in a romance scam online. People are tricked into sending gifts or money or emergency funds to these catfishers by scammers appealing to their need for affection and connection. Catfishing can also involve control or retaliation. People may harass or degrade others online by creating false personas, frequently in an effort to get revenge for perceived slights. Catfishing may also be used to keep tabs on someone's whereabouts or exercise control over their lives in some way. The business of catfishing. A concerning trend is the increase in sophisticated catfishing activities. These days, organized crime groups take advantage of psychological manipulation techniques and cutting edge technology, making it harder for people to defend against catfishing. These groups frequently design phony accounts to make themselves harder to find. These profiles frequently employ stolen images to construct realistic personalities, targeting certain weaknesses. Now catfishers investigate their possible victims and take advantage of particular needs or wants and love bomb their victim, including the yearning for connection or love, using social engineering techniques through well-constructed tales and emotional appeals. Catfishers skillfully and willfully manipulate the emotions of their victims and win trust. Operating across many platforms, 
It can be challenging for victims to escape the grasp of organised groups as they frequently operate across different online personas and platforms. So how do you keep yourself safe from catfishing? There are several different ways that people can defend themselves from catfishing. Among these include avoiding accounts that appear too good to be true. Somebody that says they love you immediately is a red flag. Protecting personal information while sharing it online and verifying the authenticity of images via reverse image searches. Notifying relationship websites of any odd activity is also crucial. The future of catfishing, the increasing advancement of technology is probably gonna make it more difficult to combat in the long term. The ability to use AI and to distinguish between authentic and fraudulent profiles is becoming increasingly difficult due to these deep fakes and AI powered chatbots. Eliminating this issue will require a multifaceted approach, including increased awareness, raising robust legislation, or to prevent online fraud on these dating sites. Enhancing the way they screen new members will also be useful. So let's chat in the comments about this because I have a lot of experience in this through people that I know. So let me know your thoughts and if you have any questions or something positive you can think of, let's talk about it. Thank you for joining me today. Your friend Kevin Shaw says goodbye.